tracks here. These must have been left by the miners. Let us make our way to the end of Lingju Pass. If there are no footprints there, it would suggest that the miners are still within the pass itself. However, if we find new tracks, we can follow them wherever they may lead. I gotta go all the way there? The fucking audacity! Are we literally going to go on like a journey to the west kind of style? Go from point A to point B? Walking up, finally getting to where that place is? Hoopa Mountain. Bruh. It would appear that they made their way through Lingju Pass and kept moving. If we follow their footprints, we should be able to find where they went. Thanks, Dora. This stupid room guard is now waking up my room. Oh no, the footprints end here. We should inquire with anyone nearby. If the miners came through here, they may well have seen them. Sorry. Hi there. Have you seen anyone dressed like a miner around here? A miner? I'm afraid not. Uh, let's try someone else. Hey, look, someone's standing over there. Convenient. Way? Hello. Have you seen any Why? miners nearby? Stop bothering me. Can't you see I'm cloud watching? Why? Jeez. A little grumpy, aren't we? Whatever. Let's go ask someone else. Oh, bitch. Shut up. <laughs> hey there. Uh, seen any miners? It must have been about four or five days ago. There were a few men who came through here carrying baskets and picks. Four or five days ago. It was so strange. Four big guys with lifeless expressions, and there was a child staggering in front of them. Huh. Uh, this child. Did you see what they look like? I caught a glimpse. Blue hair. Short. I think... I think it was a girl. She wasn't smiling. In fact, she looked very serious. And... They took this road? Yes, they followed it straight from here. Let's go after them! Let's go! Fuck. Walking. Teleport. Waypoint. There's a person over there! Nani? Help! Please save me! Nani? How many of the people are looking for? Oh, rescue first! Ask us to play. Oh, we're fine. Oh, we're fine. Not yet. That was quick. <sighs> Those that was monsters super were quick. so aggressive. They must have noticed me walking through. Before I knew it, they were all over me. Thank you all for saving me. My name is Wan Yu. I belong to Liu Wei's Shang Yu Hall. I head up our human culture and civilization research. Huh? Are you sure you're not a miner? A miner? Yeah. We're looking for a group of four strong fellas carrying mining equipment. I... I think I saw those people. Really? Few men and a child. I was in a hurry. I didn't get a good look. I'm afraid I'm not even sure what they looked like. Apologies. I think that's all we needed to hear. Thank you. I hope it's useful to you. I'd better get going. There's a conference I need to attend. Again, thank you all for your help. According to the scholar, the miners were heading for Nantian Month. Can we be absolutely sure that it was the men that we're looking for? A child with a group of adults. Sounds pretty close to Paimon. Uh, Stupid bishop. Hey, in the corner. That rock lurking. Can tell us more. Aha! Paimon nearly forgot about our secret weapon. <sighs> it's the same group, all right. They followed this road. Mr. Kunju, your stone seeing is something I won't forget in a hurry. I suppose it is an asset, though I rarely find a use for it. It's a good thing we brought our Kunju and Compass along. We would have lost all sense of direction a long time ago. <laughs> you think so? I guess it's been a worthwhile trip then. It feels like... like we're cracking a criminal case. It's a lot of fun. Be that as it may. We would do well to keep our guards high. Four fully grown men in a trance-like state, walking ceaselessly day and night over hills and mountains led by a child. This is no ordinary incident. Oh, you're quite right, Mr. Zhongli. We should have our wits about us. That's not all. Our scholar was attacked by Geo Bishop Hatchlings, 
but the level of aggression they exhibited was unusual. They have encountered many clues along the way. So far, they've pointed us in the right direction. The miners headed in the direction of Nantien the day before yesterday. From here, they would have had to navigate a perilous mountain road. If their destination is indeed Nantienmen, we should be able to catch up with them. Great! Stabilize! I can't take it. Oh! Imagine walking all the way there. And... Hey! Over here on the ground! <laughs> Just walk over. Hey! Hello? Can you hear us? Judging by his appearance, he must have collapsed from exhaustion. I can... I can still dig. It seems that he thinks he still has work to do. Something's not right. There's a camp nearby. We should take him there and monitor his condition before deciding our next move. Hmm. How is he? He... he won't die, right? He's worked himself into a stupor. Thankfully, he's not in serious danger. Him talking about digging for something. Did he dig himself into this state? It's certainly a possibility. Hmm? It looks like there's something in his pocket. Are these ore fragments? Hmm. I just witnessed the memories within these ore fragments. This person brought these fragments out of the mine. He's one of the four that we're searching for. How he came to be here is what we need to understand. So he was kidnapped, and then abandoned here. But if they didn't need him, why bring him all the way out here? Unless something happened. Sorry. Something that led him to fall behind. Ugh. Had enough. This is too mysterious. Oh, wait a moment. Seeing these fragments has jogged my memory. I have something for you. What is it? Oh, is it a present? Something for us? As I mentioned, before I met Uncle Dai, I was in a daze. After setting out with you on this case, it feels like a fog is lifting. I was so happy when Uncle Dai enlisted you to help. I would never have managed to track down these clues by myself. These are some crystals that I bought from the market. Not any old crystals, mind you. This purity is extraordinarily rare. One for each of you. A memory, if you will. It's beautiful. But of course, take it. And this one is for Mr. Shongli. Uh... Huh? It, is something wrong? Not to your liking? On the contrary. I just hadn't anticipated receiving a gift during the current circumstances. But... Thank you. I will take good care of it. I'm pleased you like them. It's nice to be able to give a gift that others can appreciate. Oh, I see more rocks over there. You should all get some rest. I'm going to scan the surroundings. Get some rest and call me when you're ready to set off. I won't be far. Rest easy. I surveyed the area. There's no danger here. Oh, however, there is something I wanted to discuss with you. Huh? What's with the seriousness all of a sudden? Traveler, does Dragonfall mean anything to you? You mean the ore that Kunjun's looking for? What's so special about it? Dragonfall is an incredibly rare ore used in forging. The majority of regular crystals are formed in high temperature environments. Dragonfall, on the other hand, is formed as a product of elemental reactions. Elemental reactions can produce material objects? <sighs> Indeed they can. Dragonfall first emerged in the midst of a great battle thousands of years ago. Powerful clashes of elemental energy gave birth to elemental crystals. When the fighting ceased, these geological remnants were miraculously preserved. And yet they are crystal creations all the same. Few and far between, relatively unknown. A few hundred years ago, they were virtually mined into obscurity. Why is it then that a citizen of Lyor now wishes to strike upon ore that has long since vanished from the Earth? Yeah, if he knows of its existence, surely he knows all of it's already been mined. Get it. There are those in the mining trade who retain a keen interest in Dragonfall. But 
for someone like Mr. Kujo, whose motivations for seeking it are unclear even unto himself. It's practically unheard of. A conclusion that is presently impossible to reach. We must watch and wait. Don't forget, rescuing those miners is the primary objective. As for anything else, sooner or later the tide will reveal the lie of the land. We're drawing closer to our goal. I believe we should continue to follow this road through. Now that we've found one, the others won't be far away. When you're well rested, call Mr. Kunjun over to us. We should ensure this miner is settled here at the camp. Once we've brought this matter to a close, we can return and attend to him. I suggest we leave a note for Uncle Dai. If he does find the camp, he'll know what to do. He just just nods out of nowhere. Just saying. Whoa. I mean, like, I don't know. Looks pretty beautiful from where I am. I finished my spaghetti. No problem. I'm done here. Any results, Mr. Kunju? There are many beautiful rocks here, but nothing out of the ordinary. I couldn't find any clues. Then again, the memories of ore can shift with the passage of time and the changing of the environment. Hmm. Difficult to say. I feel that ore memories tend to be from the recent past. So there's never any ancient memories? Rocks endure, but as eons pass, their memories are erased. Those memories that survive are rooted in powerful emotion or thought. That makes sense. It is the same for people. Indeed. Let's keep going. Wow. Such an immense tree. And there's so many mysterious looking crystals up there too. Amazing. This ancient tree. Let's conduct separate investigations. I'll take that area. Perhaps mm. you could survey this section. All right then. <laughs> there he goes. Well, there is this stone tablet here. Doesn't seem very interesting. I'm just gonna look over there. Huh. It's worth a try, surely. Let me see. Oh. You could? Yeah. Oh. This is... Hey, what's wrong? Just a bit lightheaded. It's past. Nothing to worry about. Not... <sighs> Not yet. Oh. Uh, whatever. Hyman's going to investigate over there. Why don't you climb the tree and have a look? If you don't try, you won't know. You'll be able to get a good look at our surroundings from up there. <sighs> oh. Uh, you think so? Where did Paimon ever come up with a bad idea? Hmm. That time you wanted to steal something? I don't know. Come on. All right. Paimon will go. You wait here. Paimon will All of you, come here. Sonny's voice came from behind the tree. Did he find another clue? Quick. <laughs> I got it. This has been newly dug. It would appear our answer is up ahead. Is that a voice coming from the tunnel? <laughs> Someone else go first. Compose yourselves. I will lead us in. Hmm. There is an unusual presence coming <laughs> from inside the tunnel. Prepare yourselves and tread lightly. Uh oh. Cue the cue the uh, intense music. <laughs> I'm afraid that this whole tunnel is the fruit of their strenuous labor.
evening. There is only one thing worse than a rapist. Boom. A child. No. Wait a minute, the yin yin? That's like, uh, it looks just like, uh, Fu uh, stage Fu Hua's old. She does the freaking thing. Mamoru Koto Gawatashi no Yuitsu no Shimei desu. 